What's going on guys, John Elder here from codeb.com and in this video, we're gonna continue building out our database app and create the ability to delete records from our database. All right, in the last video, we built out the graphical user interface. We added the ability to add a record, to view a record, and I think that's all we got. In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to delete a record from our database. But before we get started, if you like this video, want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. That's all my courses, videos, and books for a one-time fee at just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so first things first, let's, well, in case you didn't see the last video, let's just run this real quick and show you what we have so far. So here's our database. We can add things in here. Click the add button, it adds it. We can show them. And we have John Elder, Bob Smith, Tina Miller. We can you know, configure this to output any of this stuff that we want, but just to make it easier, we've just put the first and last name. Uh, I think right now, let's go ahead and add the user ID number, that OID number that we talked about earlier, because uh, we're gonna need that in a minute to delete records and I'll go into why that is. So let's pull our code back up and go to the, let's see, query section here. And down here where we're outputting the result on the screen, we have first name, which is this record, at the zeroth item of the, the uh, list, I guess, the tuple. And then the first item is the last name. I believe the, the OID is the sixth or the fifth. So let's just go ahead and continue concatenating and let's add another space and then concatenate again. And here we just want to copy all of this. And between these, just paste this in. And I'm not sure if it's the fifth or the sixth. Let's try the sixth and see. So let's save this, run it again real quick. Pull this over, show records. Okay, that was right. So now we're getting this number next to these. And uh, that's cool, that works. Uh, let's see, we can get a little crazy if we want. And this might not work, but let's add another plus. And then inside of here, we can put a backspace, a backslash T, that stands for tab, if we want to tab that over a little bit. So let's save that and give it a look. Now uh, this may or may not work. It'll definitely work, but yeah, okay. Because sometimes if these don't line up correctly, the tabs go over a little bit too much or not enough. So, okay, so we now we have the first names, the last names, and the ID. At the top of here, we could put a little, you know, a thing that said first name, last name, or a, a little field that says name, and then a little field that says ID number or something. We'll just leave it like this for now. Um, let's see, I'm seeing this right up here. This is bothering me. It's shoved right up to the top. Let's push this down a little bit. We can add some padding to this. So we just want to do this first name in this text box here. So real quick, I'm just going to scroll down to the text box section. So here we have, uh, here we go, text boxes. So first name, so here I'm just gonna add a pad Y and set that equal to, now we haven't done this before, you can add a tuple here if you only wanna add padding to one side. So I just want padding on the top. So that's, I'm gonna add 10 to the top and then I can go comma zero and I wanna put no padding below. So we'll do that. And we could just copy this whole thing down here to the label. I want to do the same thing to the label. That's right there. Oops. There we go. So let's save this and run it just to see what we have here. Just playing around at this point because it's fun. Okay, that looks a little better. It's pushed down a little bit and these still all line up. So, okay, now we want to talk about how to a delete records. So if we click the show records, we have these records, right? John Elder, Bob Smith, and Tina. Miller, and we want to delete them. Now there's a couple of ways to delete things. You can say, you can look for a specific record and then say, delete this record. But what we search for is important. So if we said search for John Elder and delete that record, that will work. But there may be four or five John Elders in our database, common name, right? John's a common name, Elder's fairly common. You know, Bob Smith, there may be 50 Bob Smiths in your database. So if you say delete Bob Smith, that command will go through and delete every single Bob Smith in your database. And you probably don't want that. So we need to search by this OID, this primary key number, this user number, 
to uh, delete things because each record in our database only has one specific unique ID number. So if we say, you know, get rid of Tina Miller, she's number three. If we say delete number three, we'll just lose Tina Miller, which is what we want. So how do we actually go about deleting things from a, a SQLite database? Well, it's pretty simple and we can come up here and let's just come somewhere up here to the top of our thing and let's go create function to delete a record. All right, so let's define our function and let's call it what? Delete, probably good. Now inside of here, we wanna do all the same things that we've done in the past, which is connect to our database and create a cursor. We could do that and then commit our changes and close. So we can just paste these in here. Now inside of here, let's go uh, delete a record. So how do we do this? Well, it's pretty simple. It's just like everything we've done. We use our cursor and we execute a command as we've always done. And the command that we want is delete from, and then name the table that we wanna delete from. And if you remember our table is addresses, right? And then now we wanna use something called the where clause. And this is just a SQL clause. So delete from addresses where, and here you designate the column that you want to search in. So we want the OID column where the OID equals, and then what? What do we want? Well, let's put placeholder here for now. All right. Now I'm seeing this does not look right. So we need to wrap all of this in quotation marks. Okay. So that's right. Delete from your database table addresses where OID equals placeholder. Now we could do the same thing. We could go where F underscore name equals and then put quotes. Well, we need single quotes. John, right? We could do that, but like I said, that'll give us the problem where it'll go through and delete every single John in our database. So we don't want that. Of course, what we want is OID equals place holder. Now we'll create, we'll, we'll change that placeholder in just a bit. So what we need now is in our app, we need a, a box where we can type in the number of the ID number that we want to delete. And we need a button to actually delete. So let's go do that real quick. And let's just come down here, create text boxes. Underneath here, let's go create, well, let's see, we have some more down here. Yeah, let's just go down right here and let's go create a delete button. And let's just copy all of this and paste it in. But instead of query button, let's call it delete button. Same thing here, delete button. And this is not row seven, this is what we're on. There was a row eight here. So I think we're on row nine, maybe. Let's try that, we're in row nine, column span is two, pad X to pad Y. I have no idea what this is gonna be, but the command we want here is delete, right? Cause that's the uh, function we created all the way up here just now, this delete function, right? Okay. So let's change this to delete record. All right, so let's save this and just run it real quick to see if the formatting is correct. It's probably not. Okay, so this button's a little bit bigger. So I'll probably knock off what? Let's go 135 on the iPad. X. So save this, run it again. This is just for show, basically. Okay, that's pretty close. Let's add back one more. So 136. Save that. Run it. Okay, that's pretty, pretty good. Now we need probably what above this, we need a little label and a box that says, you know, ID number or whatever. So, okay, let's do that. 
So I'm going to add these, I think, right here. So let's go delete. Well, let's start with the box itself right here. Let's go delete underscore box. I don't know. Name it whatever you want. And it's an entry box and it's in root and the width equals 30 like all the rest. And then we can go delete underscore box dot grid. And we want this in row. Let's go row equals nine column equals one. Okay, I think that will do. Yep. And then for a label for the same guy, let's go delete underscore box underscore label equals label. And that's in root. And the text equals ID number, I guess. Or we can do it out like that ID number. Yeah, that'll work. And again, we want to now grid this onto the screen. So delete underscore box label dot grid equals row equals 10 column. I could type column equals one, no zero, right? So now we have to, let's put this back up here. Now we also have to change since we put these two rows above, we need to change our button to row 11. Okay, I think that'll work. Let's save this and run it just to make sure everything looks okay. And it does not everything's all sort of messed up. Oh, we need it to be the same row, obviously, do we? Alright, so this should be row nine. And then we need to change our button to row 10. Alright, it's Monday morning, you got to bear with me. Monday morning in Vegas. All right, that's better. ID, that's sort of kind of weird. So let's go back and change it to what do we want? What, what do we have it before? It was ID. Let's go delete ID. So we're really explicit in what's going on here. Okay. Now we're good. So now we want to be able to, you know, if we show the records, that's showing up. We're probably going to want to change that to put it underneath it. So let's do that right now. All the fun with Kenter. So that would be the query and here the query label. So instead of row eight, we want row 11 now. So let's save this and run it and make sure this is working. All kinds of good stuff in this video. All right. So show records, boom, that pops down below there. You might want to play with the padding here. This is kind of close. This, there's more space in between these two than there is in between this. So just, you know, you might want to do that. I'll just leave that for now. Uh, you can play around with the padding in this stuff if you like. Probably just add a pad Y to, to these two. Well, let's just do that right now. Why not? We're doing all the things this morning. All right, so back down here to our delete. And here we'll just go, what, pad Y equals... Okay, add this five, delete box label. Now where's the actual delete box? Right here. Pad Y equals, give that a five, save this, run it again. Okay, that's looking a little better. I like that. Okay, so now we need to fix our delete record uh, button to actually delete a record. So let's say, well, we'll, we'll do that later. I'll actually delete one later after we fix it. Let's clear the screen it's starting to get a little crazy. All right. So when we click this delete button, it calls the delete command or the delete function, which is up here. We did it at the beginning of this video and we want to get rid of this placeholder. And this is kind of a strange thing. We don't want to, what we're going to do is come down here and get our, let's see delete box entry. And we're going to get that like we've done before. But your instinct is going to be to go delete box dot get like that, but that doesn't work. What you have to actually do is concatenate that on afterwards. So if we save this, 
Now come back here and run it. Pull this over. We can show our records, Bob Smith. Let's delete number two. Now if we show the records again, uh, there's some weird formatting here, but it goes from one to three. Now if we close this and run it again, and show our records, we see number two, Bob Smith is gone, and it was just that easy. So pretty simple, delete from your table where OID, which is the primary key that we've talked about before, equals and then concatenate this on here. Now this is a string. Now this is weird because it's an integer in the database. So you would think it would need to be an integer, but you can't concatenate an integer on here. So for some reason with tkinter, you can pass a, an integer like this as a string and it will still delete it even though the database has it as an integer. So uh, that's how you delete from a table, not too bad. And in the next video, I think we'll learn how to update a record. So we have these things here. What if we misspelled Miller? How do we change that? I will look at how to do that in the next video. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.